Hey, Dr. Sean Suda here. A lot of patients come to me and they ask, what is the difference between robotic surgery and traditional surgery or laparoscopic surgery? So traditional surgery is typically open surgery. Let's say we do a hernia repair on you. You're going to get a big up and down incision and you're going to have a big up and down scar on your abdomen. Laparoscopic surgery kind of came into the fold in the mid 1980s, 1990s, really got popular in the early 2000s. And those are surgeries with small incisions. So anywhere from one, two, three, four, five, one centimeter or so incisions. Pain is less, return to work is better. But it requires skill that many surgeons these days do have, depending on the complexity of the operation. It can definitely give you these benefits. Robotic surgery is an addition to laparoscopic surgery. And the robot is not autonomous, meaning we don't press a button and the robot goes and does the surgery by itself. What the robot is, it's computer-assisted telesurgery. What that means is I, as the surgeon, sit at a console, like a video game, I'm looking at a picture that's a 3D image from a camera that's in the patient. And I put my hands into these controls and whatever my hands do, the robotic hands do. And the advantage of this is, unlike laparoscopy, the robotic instruments have full articulation, they're miniaturized, so I can do things on a much more intricate skill level than you can with laparoscopy, which is basically like trying to operate with very long chopsticks or prongs, which again is a perfectly safe, good operation to do in the right hands. But with robotic surgery, it just gives me a little extra edge where I can do things on a more intricate, more tiny, more accurate level than I can with laparoscopy. So that's what the robot does for me, that's what it does for my patients, in case you're wondering what robotic surgery is all about.